Hello, Blanca. Bonjour, madame. <laughs> Uh, you are the language specialist at the Board of Education of Broa. Can you talk about uh, your day-to-day -day, uh, work and what you are doing at the Board of Education? Uh, my, my job description as a curriculum specialist is to design the curriculum and implement it in all the schools in Broa in, from kindergarten to 12th grade for world languages. At the present time, We have nine languages in Broward County, American Sign Language, Chinese, French, um, German, Latin, Japanese, Italian, Spanish, and Spanish for Spanish speaking. And like we were talking before, all languages are important. And I firmly believe in English plus. Everybody needs to speak English in this country, plus a second language or a third language. We can no longer afford to be a monolingual nation because our global society is very diverse, like we all know, is the world, and we cannot be monolingual any longer. In order for our students to compete, Into, the, in tomorrow's and today's job market, they need to speak a second language. So that is my, my belief, that is my passion. Uh, I'm trying now to implement more world languages at the elementary level because that is the foundation. It's like planting the seed. And if we start at the high school level, it's too late. Um, Our new state standards are based on the European frameworks. So the state of Florida has recognized the need to develop new standards for all students. And the new standards are based on the European frameworks because it is well known that the uh, Europeans, they speak more than one language fluently. And that's the goal that we have in this state. That's the goal. Look at all these children. They're cute. They are great. <laughs> Hopefully they will be fully bilingual by the time they finish high school. That's the goal I have for the children of Broward County and of the nation. Thank you, Blanca. And uh, what about French? Uh, do you foresee uh, the French language co uh, like a language uh, that um, uh, attracts people and that is uh, really a uh, vehicle for uh, connection and communication in the, in the world in 10 years, 20 all, years? I think all languages are important. We do business in the United States with many different countries. And it's a misconception that the only thing we import from France is wine. We import many things. We have more than 250 French companies in South Florida alone. So in order for us to serve the customer, we need to talk the language. So no longer is it's a language that we're going to learn a little bit because we're going to Paris, because that's not the case. There are other countries that speak the language. And we have developed in, in the district an online course that is an eye-opening for teachers. It's a teacher training program. It's called Francophone We. And it addresses more children. That's great. <laughs> it addresses all the countries where French is spoken. And uh, French is not only spoken in France or in Quebec, it's spoken in many, many countries. Uh, what are the tools that you are using here uh, in Broward and in Florida uh, to help the programs, the language programs to develop? Well, uh, we, are we are talking to the principals. We are um, having the parent support Parent support is very important. At this point, parents really are eager for their children to be bilingual. They have, parents have recognized the need, and that's what we are doing. 
Um, in Broward, right now, we have the French Heritage Program at one school established. It's the only high school in the United States. And it helps Haitian children and children from Francophone world to learn about their heritage. Then we are going to implement it in Lauderdale Lakes Middle and in Oreo Elementary. Those three schools are connected and they will have the French Heritage Program after school uh, because of their population is uh, the majority is Haitian and they really need to learn about their French heritage. I, I am very happy that our in Boy Anderson they, they presented 14 children for the advanced placement test of the college board and 12, 12 children passed. And that is um, as a result of the uh, support that the French consulate uh, has given the school with the French Heritage Program because the children spend three hours every week learning about the French. When you, you keep your own language and you enhance your own language, you are more able to learn the second language. This is why the French Heritage Program is so important for our children. We are looking into the other program to be established at um, Hollywood Central and it's the after school program and I would like for this to grow into a, a dual language in French. That's my goal. I um, really would like that this to happen because we have a lot of children in this area from many countries and many speak French and but they don't have to speak French. They, it, it, it's, it's good to mix. Fantastic. Do you want to add anything else uh, regarding the immersion program, for instance? Or? Yeah, the immer we, we would like to con um, promote more immersion or more dual languages um, in the district. At the present time, we don't have a, a formal dual language program in the district. I, I believe we did have it and then for whatever reason we don't have it anymore, but I believe that with the leadership of Mr. Ronsi, our new superintendent, and Dr. Butler, my de deputy uh, superintendent, who are both of them firmly believe in, in our global society, we will be able to, to work and establish more dual languages. Uh, for the children. Thank you very much, Mlanka Guerra. Thank, thank you, you for your time Mer and thank you for your work. <laughs>